What used to be a lake in the Sierra has been reduced to a pond. A dry winter exposing acres of lake bottom. CBS 13's Laura Hafley is live in Pollock Pines with the lost lake there. Laura. Well, right down this road, there's a 650-acre lake sitting right in the middle of the El Dorado National Forest. But as you said, right now, it is looking pretty empty. Now, despite there being a good explanation for that, locals say they're still shocked to see it all dried up. Jenkinson Lake is supposed to hold a lot of water. It's much more beautiful when it is full. But right now, parts of it look like this, dry as a bone. Gosh, the lake is low. <laughs> that's, that's what I said, you know. Local hiker Jim McCarthy launching his drone to capture something he says he's never seen before. It's a little disappointing when you hike to be around a dry lake bed. At its most full, Jenkinson Lake holds 41,000 acre feet of water, but right now it's holding much less. Here's why. The rain falls a little bit less, the snow melts. Uh, it's not where it, it has been in the past. The dry winter is affecting water levels, but there's a solution. El Dorado Irrigation District can divert snow melt from the Sierra through two tunnels into Jenkinson Lake to help fill it back up. We're using all of the ways in which we can divert water from higher up in the Sierra into the lake to ensure that, that our customers will have plenty. EID services 100,000 customers from Pollock Pines to El Dorado Hills, and they all get their drinking water from here. So that's our primary drinking water reservoir for El Dorado Irrigation. Jesse Sage with El Dorado Irrigation District says it's not uncommon for the lake to hit low levels, and despite the way it looks, I do hope that it, the, the lakes are full. Customers will hardly notice a difference. Even if this is a dry year, our customers will have enough water. Now, given the dry season, EID says they're not going to be able to rely on the weather alone to fill the lake back up. They're going to have to dip into snowmelt storage to help get those levels uh, back to that 41,000 mark. Or, you know, they could just rely on the weather right now. It's been raining all day. I'm sure that's helped a little bit. <laughs> yeah, make a little dent in it at least. Thanks so much, Laura.